Okay, guys, in this video lesson, we're going to tackle the states of matter um, and add that to our notes. So here we go. Uh, first of all, let's talk about solids, okay? So we already know from middle school that solids have definite shape and volume. Okay, that's good. Uh, things that we want to add to that is how can they be compressed, okay? So solids are incompressible, which means that you cannot compress them down into a smaller space or expand them into bigger spaces, okay? They're pretty much rigid in their size. Uh, they are the lowest energy of our states of matter, and they do move, but they move with a vibration only, okay? Now, because we talked about IMF and intermolecular forces, we can talk about why they can vibrate but not move past that. So intermolecular forces hold the individual particles of the solid together. And as they start to move back and forth, they try to break free of IMF. But because they're the lowest energy, they cannot do that. So all they can do is vibrate back and forth in place. And the IMF holds them in kind of a rigid structure, giving them a defined shape and volume. Okay. Now we move on to liquids, and we want to take a look at them in regards to IMF. Uh, they still have a definite volume, but they can take the shape of their container, okay? But they take the shape, I should say of container here, sorry. Um, so add that in. They are incompressible. So just like solids, you cannot compress liquids into a smaller volume or, or expand them into a bigger volume. This is the whole thing about how hydraulics work in terms of your hydraulic brakes, on your cars, and how hydraulics work for all big machinery, is that you cannot compress liquids but they're able to flow and move to move through hydraulic lines. Okay, they we call it medium energy because they have more energy than solids, but less than gases they're going to have um, in terms of what they are. Now, in this case, because they have more energy, they're able to break free of some of the intermolecular forces, which allows them to flow and move around, but not enough to be compressible and not enough to undefine their volume. Okay, so we say they can partially break IMF, allowing them to flow in terms of their movement because they have more energy than solids have. Now we go on to gases. Now gases are a highest energy particle. As a result, with that high energy, they can completely break free of intermolecular forces. We actually say that gases do not have any intermolecular forces holding them back. So they're free to move anywhere they want to because they are free of any attractive forces holding them together. As a result, they're going to fill the shape and volume of any container that they're in. You know, if you have a two-gallon container or a 20-gallon container, gases are going to expand to, to fill that entire shape, which means you can compress them back down into smaller spaces or expand them into bigger spaces, okay? So gases are the only one that's compressible because they have the highest amount of energy that allows them to break free of IMF and move anywhere they want to, okay? Now... We also sometimes talk about vapor. Now, vapor is kind of an interesting state of matter. Vapor kind of falls in this area where we have liquids that are separated from each other. So you kind of have a liquid that is acting like a gas, okay? Um, a good example of this is like humidity, where you have a whole bunch of liquid water. It's below the freeze, sorry, it's below the boiling point of water, um, but it's acting like a gas in its liquid phase because you basically have a liquid acting like a gas below the boiling point is what a vapor kind of really is. Okay. So if this link is still working, we'll take a look here um, and take a look at these things in terms of some microscopic views. Uh, I like to show this one real quick to everybody. So here's solids, okay, vibrating in place. Here's liquids where they flow around, but they maintain their volume inside of here. And then here we have gases where they expand and go anywhere they want to go. Okay. Again, good for this idea of visuals in terms of microscopic view, maybe drawing them or interpreting this kind of drawing of the three different states of matter in terms of what they are. Okay. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you.